Hey what's going on guys, my name's Nathan and welcome back to the Snake Saloon. Now today I have another figure that my wife ordered. This is by Good Smile and this is a perfect blue figure. As you can see, this is Mima. Um, it's kind of strange, this movie is obviously fairly old at this point. You rarely see that many figures, you might see the odd one here and there. This one recently came up on Crunchyroll, and it's one of my wife's favourite movies. Um, we saw it recently for whatever anniversary it was um, in cinemas. So we have to get this, let me slide this out of the box. Obviously, these good smell figures, they're always in these clear boxes. You can see the background there as well, it's like a rain effect. And the base as well. Let me show you the back. It's basically the same thing and then your small print. But, so here's the figure, so let's go ahead and cut this. As you can see, I'm actually filming this on one of my wife's shelves. Figured it made more sense. There we go. Looks like it's in... Yeah, just one piece. So there's no assembly or base. From what I can see, it's just a single figure, so there we go. Yeah, definitely no base in here. Got this plastic bag out of the way. But honestly, it doesn't need a base. You can see it uh, sits fairly firm on the, the legs. You can see they're kind of at an angle. So, give you some zoom ins. really detailed figure actually for the price don't think this was too expensive from what i recall obviously pop-up parade figures um, typically aren't too expensive unless they're nendoroids there's the back you can see that hand with the blood the blood kind of goes from the face to the glove and then goes down onto the chest area, the neck. Really unique looking figure, I've got to say. And then that clothing as well, obviously the red dress. See the red underwear with the socks and the shoes. And it's kind of one of those figures where you could really display this at any angle, I mean, Say this would be probably preferred but I mean it's like a full 360 it's like I said really nicely detailed I think that would be the best sort of optimal position so you can see everything you know you got all the, the face um, obviously the the lower half as well and you can see that smile on the face but yeah overall a really really nice figure like I said, we got this from Crunchyroll, and um, it was up for pre-order for a while, but I think it's out for just, you know, general release. It came super quick, so I'm fairly certain it's, you know, you can just order it. Um, no idea how long it'll be up for. That's kind of why my wife jumped on this, because, you know, Perfect Blue, it's not, you know, Demon Slayer. <laughs> you know, who knows how long it's going to be out there for, and I can see this maybe rising in value at some point, so I guess it was better to get it now whilst it's still a decent price. Let me move the light so you can see this a bit better. There you go. But yeah, if you're a fan of Perfect Blue, highly recommend this figure. Now I'm gonna have to find a spot for this on her shelf because this spot is usually taken up by some other plush. You can see you've got some Inuyasha things there. But uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this very quick unboxing slash review. I'll be back again with more reviews in the future, so until then, see ya.